Hey everyone, I'm Captain Forest Falcon. Welcome back to Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. Oh my gosh, that is that is frustrating to say all of a sudden. Oh yeah, Peach says. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so we could do Donkey Kong. Uh, let's do someone a bit more consistent. Let's do someone that we won't be able to really do later on. Koopa was someone that I was a character that I always used to play, so why don't we give him a try on this? It's probably honestly going to be a lot harder, uh, just because of the fact that Koopa, uh, he has a really short shot. <laughs> uh, like, we might, we might not even make it to the green at this rate without going all power. <laughs> yeah, so the trade-off is basically that Koopa has the worst power of any character, but he shoots really accurate. So, <laughs> there is that. So you're probably gonna actually get the ball to go where you want it to. Uh, and this time I'm playing him regular, so now all the accuracy is gonna be switched from what I was doing with Bowser. Yeah, so straightforward birdie. Good job, Koopa, you got this. Okay, who's our competition this time? Nobody really standing out yet, but Diddy and Yoshi, I think, were both right up there from before. This time it is Bama. And Thor. Thor. Oh, cool. We have a... Uh, we have a Norse god here uh, competing with everyone. He apparently is not very good at, uh, at golf. I assume because he's probably using his hammer, he's just sending it out into, uh, who knows, every single water trap imaginable. Who else do we have here that... Kalis, no idea who you are. Paratroop, uh... MacGyver? <laughs> okay, and the A-Train and CD. Okay, okay, that's enough. <laughs> okay, let's see... Uh, I, I, I don't even need to use power shots here. Oh, good. Good, perfect. Already just hitting perfect shots with Koopa, the character that you'd want to play at it play as if you're not good at doing that. Okay, that's a bit better. But yeah, see, I kind of missed that by quite a bit, and the ball basically went exactly where I w wanted it to go. <laughs> Even though I didn't do a very good shot, that second one. Okay, so we're doing perfect so far, which is great. Definitely not... I, there's definitely some holes on this course that I don't think we're going to be able to do with Koopa. He is just a little bit underpowered. Just a little bit. My gosh, like that just goes straight. Okay, this is definitely one that I can chip in. Come on. That's a chip in. Perfect. First chip in. First chip in of the series. Okay. And so it's Hammer Bros and Monty Mole. Wait, Hammer Bros? What? Is, are they, is there multiple of them playing? As opposed to just a single Hammer Bro? Man, you have two of them playing, and they're still only at even. Okay, this is one that... We're not going to get to there in one. Ugh. Of course, first power shot, and we end up just undershooting it like that. Um, uh, yeah, I can do this. Oh, that was one of those ones that landed in a divot. It's something that's really annoying. Uh, you make these perfect shots, but sometimes the ball just lands stupid. And because of that, you end up just not being able to shoot very far your second shot. Wow, we're getting those, we're getting those good putts. <laughs> or those good uh, second shots. I'm not even having to try for some of these birdies. Like, that's two that are just like, yeah, just mash the A button and you're done. Uh, this one... Uh, 
easy enough. Nice shot. Yeah, Koopa, I think, was probably, like, my second main, I think, when I first played this. Which probably makes sense. Because, uh, you know, he's just a really good character for getting the ball to go where you want it to go. It So it would make sense that you'd start with sort of the easier characters early on. Uh, and then you would kind of move on to some of the heavier characters. Oh, that is a terrible putt. Oh, that was tragic. <laughs> that was the easiest putt in the world. Did not even have to... Uh, did not even have to actually change the direction much at all. That was just seriously a matter of... Hit it with the right weight and it'll go in. <laughs> yeah, what are, the, what are the rules of golf? Uh, you always want to hit the ball further than the hole. Like, <laughs> I mean, the one exception, I guess, would be if you were dealing with a, a hole where if you overshoot it, you're going to end up in the water trap or something. But, yeah, like, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. That's how that works. Oh, I hate these. <laughs> I don't know how much it's going to curve at the end. So I think this should be fine if I do max weight. Ugh. Yeah, th those those can be so hard to judge. Just... Ugh. Like, sometimes I get those kind of um, slopes, and I give it extra weight, and the ball just doesn't turn at all, and then other times it goes way past. Oh, uh, uh, looking at this, I think Bama has pretty much locked in last place. I'm curious, is it even possible? Is it always fixed who comes in last place? Like, the first character that you see in last is going to be the character that finishes last every time? Because I never paid too much attention to that before, so I kind of want to see. Okay, I'm feeling a bit better. Now we're missing some of those uh, accuracy uh, checks, so... Now I don't feel so bad playing as Koopa. <laughs> okay, there. I gave it the extra weight I think it needed. I think it can also sort of depend, like, based on if you... Uh, if you kind of undershoot it, uh, it'll curve more uh, at the end. Is this our... Is this actually our first time that we've had rain so far? In that case, I'm not even going to waste the power shot, because there's a very good chance that I'll screw up the putting. Because putting in the rain in this game uh, drastically changes how, uh, how your weight affects it. And even now, I still don't think I've figured that out. Oh, this is... Oh my gosh. Like, for instance, if I did 26 feet, it's prob it would probably stop about, uh, what, 10 feet short? That's just how it works in the rain. Honestly, I feel way more confident uh, just trying to do, like, a 9-iron shot here and ch roll it in. Like, uh... Oh! <laughs> I'm a master of chip shots. Absolute master. <laughs> yeah. Who needs putting in the rain? Putting in the rain sucks. Just chip it in. <laughs> Do you plan on hitting the ball today? <laughs> I forgot that was the thing, that if you, if you don't move for a while, <laughs> just the booze come out to taunt you. But... Yeah, like, those chip-ins always are just my favorite. It's even better if you can actually do, like, get it in on your second shot. Those are so rare, though. I think I've only done that, like, a few times in this game. But they were incredibly memorable. We'll probably not even get one of those this entire series. Uh, I do know that in, like, uh, one of my practice files, like, when I was trying, like, the birdie challenge, uh, I did get a hole-in-one on that. But the thing is, is that the, 
the game only saves your highlights of your uh, of your ones that are in like the tournament mode. It doesn't care about things like the side modes, like the birdie challenge or things like that. Uh, that's probably going to be fine. It's not going to curve that much. Yeah, like, it, uh, especially at the start of your shot, if that's where the curve is, I think it's going to not affect it quite as much if it's, uh, if the slope is towards the end of your shot. Hole 10. Where are we going? Uh, how many power shots we have? Yeah, I don't. Uh, this is kind of a long one. I think I will use a power shot. And we'll save it because I am just perfect. <laughs> oh man, we actually got a best drive thanks to that. Okay. I'm going to put some topspin on this. Okay, that was probably too much. Oh, this is... This is a green that exists. But, like, see, the thing is is that the curve is all at the start of our shot, so I bet we don't need to actually uh, turn it that much. Also, because we're going a bit downhill, we should actually be able to get the curve. Uh, That's going to be close. Ugh. Man, it's always so hard if you have to do, like, one of the uh, medium putts. And then you have the power putts, and you just never use that under any circumstance whatsoever. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like, if you go and use the putter, you have this. You almost never use this unless you're just doing, like, beam shots. Uh, the only situation where I feel like this kind of shot would be remotely useful is it is when you're in a bunker uh, that's so steep you can't actually chip it out. That's like the only time where I think using a putter in this way would be worth it. Okay, uh, probably just use a 3-wood and do some backspin. And oh, that is nice. Don't even have to check. Just easy in. <laughs> okay, that's minus eight. Okay, Hammer Bros is our uh, competitor for this round. Oh, oh, look at that. Bama made the comeback. It is A Trade and CD. They tie for last place, but it looks like the game has given it to A Train. Also, oh yeah, and uh, because of that, we don't have a 30th place winner. They are tied for 29th. Okay, doing pretty good. We've actually had a couple of strings of birdies. Okay, we're it's raining again. Let's see if we can get a, another chip in so we can completely avoid doing any putting in the rain. Although, looking at this, we're probably... Well, I was going to say we're probably going to land on the green, but we kind of hit a bit of a divot there, so... It, it might not work as well. Okay, that backspin actually worked out perfectly. Okay, there is very little slope here. So I think generally my rule uh, for doing this in the rain is you want to go about like half of the distance further uh, than the game is recommending. So it's telling me to do 10 feet. So I want to do about like 15. Okay, that was exactly 15 feet. Yeah, and you see, that, that seems to work pretty well. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Anyone else that we can see here. Kalis, uh, you're down there. Wow, Thor is making a comeback. Look, he is already up to 21st, uh, but he's probably not going to get much higher than that. Good on you, Thor. You made a nice bit of a comeback. <laughs> yeah, usually if you can hit birdies pretty consistently, uh, you're not going to have a problem the first time going through tournament mode. No, it's the second time where things get a lot harder, uh, where 
the uh, NPCs are actually able to hit well under par. <laughs> okay, this one... I probably don't need to use a second power shot. I didn't even need to see where that was going to land. <laughs> I was that confident. Even though we were in incredible danger of putting that in a water hazard. Yeah, that's definitely a thing that's going to be uh, scaring me a bit about the later ones, is once we actually get to the point where there's actual serious hazards to deal with. Oh, this is this is an ugly hole. Uh, I have no idea how this, well this is going to curve out. Oh, that's probably too much weight. It's not going to go in. Oh! Let me see if I can get the proper view on it. No. No. Come on, game. You know the angle I'm looking for. There we go. Oh, that was that was actually perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect angle and weight. Minus 10. We've only hit uh, three pars. Yeah, we're doing really... Honestly, I think we're going to do better than we did on the first one. Oh. We're down to our last power shot, so I cannot afford to use them now. <laughs> Well, I could, but the thing is I just need to decide sort of which one it is going to actually be worth using on. Hmm. Probably, this would probably work. Putting Super Backspin just because it's a forward and I don't want it to end up in the bunker. What is this nightmare of a putt? Oh, there is no way I'm putting this one in. And, and it's up a hill, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yuck. This one is just gross. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's try this out. Almost got the full putt strength, but... Ugh. If I had gotten uh, the strength that I wanted, gotten the full 30 feet, that would have gone in. But we have to settle for par. Unfortunate. Okay, we need to get three birdies in the last four holes to beat our previous score. So we're we're still we're still good. We can still do this. Oh, that is not gonna even make it on the green. It's probably gonna just Okay, it just barely made it on, but this is still not a good putt. Oh man, just bad putt after bad putt. Sheesh. Okay, I don't think it's going to curve as much because this is, uh... Because we have a lot of uphill and we're going to give it a lot of weight to start off. So probably could get away with that. Let's see how this goes. Oh my gosh, was that too much weight? Are you kidding me? <sighs> I'm so upset. <laughs> I am so upset about that one. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Like seriously. Like I only put like six extra feet on it and it was up a hill. And you give me that miss. Okay, straightforward. Have I hit a bunker yet uh, so far this run? I don't think so. Okay, probably here. Super backspin. And that should put position us fairly well in the green. Oh my gosh, no, not another one. Why can't I get like the easy putts? Why do I keep getting this garbage? It's, it's going to like just miss, I know it. I keep on doing it just short. Oh, <laughs> we got a curver. It just curved in. Whew. Okay, we finally got one of those longer putts in. Uh, still not a medium shot putt, but... Okay, so we just need to birdie the last two holes and we can beat our previous score. That's all we need. Two more birdies. 
Okay, starting off with this one, probably going to be a good idea. I might actually want to do some of this, uh, just to alter Koopa's curve a little bit. Okay, if I undershoot this, it's going to end up in the sand trap. Uh, probably here. I'm going to do an auto, and the auto completely botched it. Wasting our last power shot. Thanks, Otto. Thanks for that. I rely on you one time, and this is how you treat me. Okay, this kind of is rough, because now we're hitting up a hill, and we can't use a power shot to give us that extra distance. Okay, Otto. Your chance at redemption. Uh, that That's good enough. Good enough, although... I don't think the auto did much for us there. <laughs> I don't know if I should have put the top spin, but I was a bit short, so I just wanted to give it a little bit more up. Oh, that that is too much weight. That is too much weight. <laughs> the only reason that went in is because it was a straight shot. You can only really get away... Uh, with doing five or more feet, uh, if you're, like, straight on with the hole. <laughs> okay, this is it. This is the finale. Let's see. Can we do it? Can we beat our previous score, or are we going to match it? Okay, decent for a shot. I don't know if I like the looks of this green, but... Super top spin, super back spin, I meant. <laughs> this might actually be an okay position. Nice on. Putt. Okay, okay, Boo, I hear you. I'm back. <laughs> okay, what is this? So this is big, because this is the last one. This is, a, this is a deciding moment right here. Okay, looking at this slope... It really doesn't look like it curves that much. I think about 20 feet should be good uh, for the distance. That should get us up the hill. I really don't think the curve is going to affect it that much. Uh, just tiny little adjustments. Ugh! The curve killed me. Shut it, Boo! Shut it! I don't want to hear your sass. That's the saddest way to finish, but we... Oh well, we, we could have done better, but... That much! Just that little bit. Ugh! Yeah, hey, A-Train, I see you down there. Thor finished at 21. Okay, I think we're good. And Yoshi came second. Good job, Yoshi! Okay, so that's going to do it. We did the Cheap Cheap Tournament, so that basically takes care of the two sort of uh, more vanilla golf type of courses. Uh, from here on out, the courses begin to get a bit more wild and interesting. Like, the next two are still not going to be, like, quite at the most uh, extreme levels, but they are a lot more, uh, a lot more interesting than these first two are. Yeah, do we have any highlights that are worth looking at? We don't have any eagles yet, but... Hmm. Okay, I think this was one of the ones that I might actually save as the, save as the replay. Because this is our first encounter with rain. So let's just see the replay. The funny thing about the replay is oftentimes you see the AI do like a whole bunch of weird stuff compared to what you actually do. Also, they adjust the markers in ways that you never actually did uh, when you first did it. Yeah, and <laughs> kind of like the guidelines are all over the place. Okay, yeah, that is one that we want to save. Okay! <laughs> okay, but that's going to do it, so next time we're going to be taking... Um, not going to do it with Mario, but next time we're going to be doing the Sans Classic. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. May you soar like the Amazing Falcons you are, and have a wonderful day. Peace out.